This season's going to be uh, completely uh, a new experience, not just for our team, but for our fans. You know, and the fact that we, uh, we moved to Hockey East and we only play 20 conference games, uh, which is going to allow us to play uh, quite a few non-conference games uh, to get us up to our 34-game schedule. And we're also fortunate that we're going to, uh, you know, play a number of home games this year that uh, gives us a more, a uh, little bit more of an imbalanced schedule as far as home and away. But it's going to give us uh, a chance to bring in teams maybe that we haven't played a lot in the past. And some traditional CCHA, uh, former CCHA rivals, as well as uh, you know the tough non or the tough conference schedule in Hockey East. People be fooled by the fact that you know to expect a big difference in style of play. I think that um, they, they have a number of highly t skilled and talented teams. Uh, speed is a you know a factor in their conference, and I think the depth of their conference is going to be a little bit uh, more of a factor than what we've experienced in the past few years. Uh, even though the CCHA had been really strong over the last couple of years as far as uh, top to bottom, uh, I think that Hockey East could be even more challenging for us. The Shillelagh Tournament, how exciting is it going to be to have that itself in? Well, I think it's great that we're bringing back that tournament. It gives us an opportunity to play in a tournament environment. You know, the Joy Center didn't give us the same amenities as far as bringing in visiting teams and, and hosting uh, three other teams. So now that we have the uh, Compton Arena, our, our facilities are much better prepared to hold a tournament. And I think that, uh, you know, as the years go on, we'll bring in a variety of different teams. We're hoping that Western Michigan will be a, a, a regular uh, member of that tournament with us uh, since they're the, our closest Division One competition and a great program, uh, but to be able to bring in new programs every year to participate in that type of a tournament environment here in our own building will make it that much better. It's going to be fun, um, you know, for us to play another outdoor game. I think playing at Soldier Field was a great experience. You know, as long as we're playing in great uh, venues, uh, obviously Soldier Field was one, and Fenway Park is probably one of the you know, the great old buildings of, uh, of professional baseball. And you know, for our new home league being in Boston, I think it makes it that much more exciting for us to, to get acclimated and, uh, you know, to, to recognize that, you know, Boston especially, but the East Coast, there's a lot of Notre Dame alums and we can uh, start bringing out new fans to uh, Notre Dame hockey. Well, the biggest challenge I think the schedule presents is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think that, uh, you know, only having 12, 20 conference games is really going to make it challenging to, to try to finish in the top four or five in the standings. I think that because there's only 20 league games that um, the standings could be extremely tight from top to bottom. And um, you know, every win in the conference is gonna be important um, to, to trying to put yourself in position to finish in the top four or five. Um, and then you look at the non-conference schedule and the home schedule is sometimes a challenge with playing so many home games or so many non-conference games um, is that you want those games, you want your players to understand those games all have meaning. Um, and regardless of who the opponent is, every game has a, a real impact on, you know, if you, you make the NCAA tournament at the end of the year, you have to understand that every game that you play has a huge impact.